So what exactly are they demanding? A person's remains. Remains? That's right. To be more accurate, cell specimens which contain the individual's genetic information. Cell specimens? Why would they want that? The terrorists need them. You see, these next generation special forces have been strengthened through gene therapy. Genes? Strengthened? You've heard of the Human Genome Project. They've been mapping the human genome and they're nearly finished. Following up on this research, the military has been working towards identifying those genes which are responsible for making effective soldiers. There are genes that do that? Yes, and using gene therapy, they're able to transplant those genes into regular soldiers. Gene therapy? I'll explain this part. With gene therapy, it becomes easy to remove genes that cause sickness and disease, or, alternatively, to splice in additional genetic material. In other words, we can overcome all sorts of genetic diseases and at the same time add genetic characteristics as desired. Okay, and so if you knew what genes were responsible for making the perfect soldier, you could implant them in the same way, right? Yes, we could. But it all depends on being able to isolate and identify those soldier genes. And in order to do that, it's helpful if you can study the genetic information of one of the greatest soldiers ever.